Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole and welcome to Monetary Makeup. Today I have another foundation review and you might be thinking, oh my gosh, do we really need another foundation? But if you have oily, dehydrated, acne prone skin like me, then you may struggle to find the perfect foundation. And this foundation I just had to pick up because it's actually from one of my favorite brands. So this foundation is actually a skin tint and it is called Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint, Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 with UVA and UVB protection. Now I am actually pretty familiar with the brand Tula. As I mentioned, they're one of my favorites. One of the main things Tula is known for is having probiotics in their skincare and makeup. So if you're excited to see how this new Tula Radiant Skin Tint performs on my 30 plus skin, don't forget to hit the like button, the notification bell, and let's get started right now. All right, you guys, I am so excited to dive right in. My skincare is already on and ready to go. And the only makeup I have on so far is my eyeshadow. Now, real quick, if you have oily skin like me, you might be wondering why I picked up such a radiant skin tint. At least it's supposed to be a very radiant skin tint. And I do find that when I wear any sort of radiant hydrating products, it typically makes me produce less oils throughout the day than if I go in with all matte products. Now it doesn't always work like that, so we'll see if I end up looking like a greasy chicken by the end of the day. So let's first go over a couple of quick details about this new product. So this Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint with SPF 30 retails for 40 US dollars and comes in a one fluid ounce tube. Now this brand in particular is known for their probiotics and superfoods in most or all of their products and they are formulated typically without parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, fragrance, retinol, dairy, gluten, all that good stuff. I just want to read to you what is on the back of the packaging here. It says, let your skin come first. A breathable serum skin tint with skin boosting essentials including hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and collagen. Please note this skin tint does contain active ingredients which are avobenzone and octisalate. Tula is marketed as a clean brand, cruelty free, and dermatologist tested. Granted, I do have my reservations about those claims. As far as the packaging, it does come in a squeezy tube which I am all about. Now I sat here for a couple of minutes trying to pull off the cap and I could not get it, so please note you do have to screw off the cap. And the shade I picked up is O2 Very Light Cool. All right, it is swatch time. Here's what the shade O2 Very Light Cool looks like swatched out. Now, a couple things I am noticing right off the bat. First off, this definitely has a very radiant finish. Might be a little bit difficult to tell until you see it on the skin. And this shade might be a little bit too fair for me right now, but we are heading into winter. Now, Tula is a brand that I typically incorporate in my skincare regimen. And this one product I really like, this is called their Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. And they actually have a primer that's marketed for oily skin. This is called the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. This product is really interesting. It almost looks like a wax, but I do find it provides a very nice smooth finish. All right, let's see what this radiant skin tint looks like on the skin. So let's start off with a damp sponge. I have no idea how far this stretch is, so let's start off with that much. I am noticing it doesn't appear to be an extremely runny formula either. Now I understand that a damp sponge is going to soak up more product. However, this is just my preferred application method. Even though I have oily skin, it also gets quite dehydrated. So just my preferred application method. All right, so that blended out very nice on the forehead. You know, I was expecting the shade to be way too light, but I think it matches quite nicely. I apologize, you guys. I do have to put my bangs back down. Otherwise, they will stay in that position for the rest of the day. You know, every single time I film, there has to be a plane that goes by, so I apologize for the noise. Now, the sponge did eat up that little dollop that I applied to the forehead, so I just applied a little bit more. All right, so let's do the left half first. So not only do I have a very fair, cool undertone, but whenever I get hot or I start running around, the blood just rushes to the surface of the skin. So this is definitely a good day to test it out. Look at that. It covers that redness almost immediately. This product is blending out so nicely on the skin. So nothing on this side, the skin tint on the left. 
You guys, I'm noticing the hue and the monitor right now. Everything looks very blue, and that's just because there is no sunshine right now. We are covered in clouds, so I apologize if it's looking a little bit cool right now. This blends out really quickly too. All right, so what I am noticing is this is definitely at least half a shade too light for me right now. But as I mentioned, we are heading into winter. Not worried, I can always go in with bronzer. I can't remember if I forgot to mention this or not, but I did not go in with any sort of primer. I only had my skincare. So what do you guys think about this skin tint? This was one very light layer. So aside from the shade being just a little bit too light, I think this looks so beautiful on the skin. Now this is a very, very radiant product. When I swatched it, I could tell in my hand, but sometimes that doesn't translate to the skin. This definitely looks radiant on the skin. Now I do have a little bit left on the back of my hand, so I'm just going to use it up and build it up a bit. When I build up, I typically like to build up in my T-zone. So just as I'm adding the rest of the product here, I'm noticing a couple of other things. This actually has pretty nice coverage. It is definitely not a sheer skin tint. I would say it's on the light to perhaps even medium side, and it's building up really nicely. This was really a no fuss product to apply. All right, you guys, we are super zoomed in. That way you can see what my skin is looking like with this Tula skin tint. So what do you guys think about how this is looking? All right, so here's the deal. If you have extremely oily skin and you don't like any sort of radiant glow, this may not be the product for you. I personally, I love glowy radiant skin, especially now I'm in my mid thirties. I think this product looks so beautiful on the skin. This product blended into the skin very quick, very easy. I didn't have any issues building it up. And despite using a damp sponge, I feel like I got light to medium coverage. Now, the other thing I'm noticing is that despite having dehydration, especially around my nose and my mouth, it is not clinging to any of those dry patches whatsoever. And one last thing, this definitely has a blurring effect to the skin, which I was quite surprised. Typically radiant products, especially skin tints, they usually don't do the best job at blurring, but even though it has a radiant finish, I feel like my T-zone looks quite blurred. Now I'm imagining that my skin is probably going to look a little bit oily in the next couple hours and especially at the end of the day, but that's okay. You can always go in with powder or my holy grail, the Danessa Myricks Blurring Skin Balm. All right, I'm actually pretty excited. I feel like this skin tint looks phenomenal. Yes, I'm quite radiant, but overall I feel like I have a nice healthy glow. All right, fingers crossed that this product holds up well. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will see you guys at the end of the night for my final thoughts and the wear test. Hi you guys, I'm back. It has been just over five hours since you last saw me. So let's talk about this new Tula skin tint. So before I get into my final thoughts, let me first bring you in up close so you can see what my skin is looking like. Now real quick, I wanna mention that I did not go in with any sort of powder, not even my Holy Grail Danessa Myricks Balm Powder. I just added a little bit of cream blush and highlight and also concealer. So here's the deal. She's glowy, you guys. Yes, my oils have started to come through. I'm certainly a little bit oily. However, I don't feel like I look overly greasy. And for how hydrating and radiant this product is, I think it looks absolutely stunning on the skin. And as I mentioned earlier, I was pretty surprised to see that this skin tint does have a little bit of blurring properties, which I find is pretty rare with radiant finishes. This skin tint did not emphasize any of my dry patches, didn't settle into any of my fine lines, didn't emphasize any of my blemishes. Overall, I just feel like the skin looks so smooth, healthy, and radiant. What do you guys think now that it's been five hours later? Now, if you have super oily skin and you don't prefer a radiant finish, then perhaps this is one you may want to skip or you might want to go in with setting powder. But I find now that I am not 20 or even 30 anymore, I am really starting to enjoy radiant finishes more and more. I am just so impressed with not only how my skin looked when I first applied it, but now that it's been over five hours later, 
I think this skin tint held up awesome. And you know, for how radiant of a finish this is, I was kind of expecting to have a little bit of wear because usually I do around my nose and mouth area, but I have not had anything wear off whatsoever. And I think it's important to mention that this skin tint definitely has more coverage than your traditional sheer skin tint. I wouldn't say it's a full medium coverage by any means, but I would say light to light medium. You know, something kind of funny, when I was applying this skin tint, I really thought it reminded me of something, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And then I remembered, oh my gosh, one of my favorite SPFs that I use almost every single day, this is the Tula Protect and Glow SPF 30. There's a good chance that if you like either of these, you'll probably like the other one. So you can already see how this beautiful product sits on the skin. But let me show you a quick swatch of this SPF. So part of the reason I love this SPF so much is because it is a gel formula. Gel formulas are one of my favorite, especially for my oily dehydrated skin because it doesn't make me super greasy or oily at all, but it also provides enough hydration to sink into the skin. And it also smells so good, you guys. It smells like pineapple or papayas and also the beach. I don't know, it just smells really good. So if you like a radiant glow, look how beautiful this SPF is. Now keep in mind, I do have studio light, so the light is reflecting off a bit more. This is not a greasy SPF, so I do want to make a point of that. It certainly is a very radiant and illuminating SPF, but it is not greasy. So I just thought it was funny that I completely forgot about one of the SPFs that I wear almost every single day. Definitely reminded me of the skin tint. So if you enjoy a beautiful, youthful glow like I do, then I would definitely recommend either of these products or you could even use them together. I am so happy I decided to pick up this new Tula skin tint and I'm really excited to continue using it. So now I wanna hear from you guys down below. Have you picked up this skin tint? Have you tested it out? Are you as excited as I am about this product? Let us know all your thoughts down below. Well, overall, this product is definitely getting two thumbs up from me. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys!